Hey, what's going on, everybody? Junior Mock Dog here, and today, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the previous episode, we took out SpongeBob's Dream World, went through a bunch of Texas uh, stuff with Sandy, then we jumped on some music notes in Squidward's Dream, uh, took out some Robos in Mr. Krabs' Dream, and then uh, uh, Patrick's Dream, which was just we went in there and grabbed a golden spatula. Um, as you guys uh, saw at the, uh, or I didn't put it at the beginning of the video, I'll probably put it in right now, uh, but I'm going to put in right now me grinding for 3,500 shiny objects, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in now.
And we're back, and uh, it was terrible. I'll probably speed. I'm gonna speed it up as fast as I can. Uh, it's 30 minutes, so I don't know how quick I can speed it up. Maybe two minutes, but there will be an annotation on screen of uh, when to skip forward in the video if you don't want to watch me grind for it all. Uh, just to show you guys that I did not cheat, and this is just straight up. I did grind for 3,500 shiny objects. There was a couple hiccups where I uh, went to the wrong. Uh, warp like I would go here or I would go uh, here instead of here and then I would end up here and go this area and it was just it was terrible but now we're just going to be giving a ton of shiny objects to my boy Mr. Krabs in before the last one actually cost 7,000 instead of 6,500 which I thought it did and if it is that much then I'm gonna have to grind for some more shiny objects yes there you go take them take them all I could have unlocked some concept art and went in there and saw it all but nah nah keep giving it keep giving him shiny objects thank you very much I probably should have turned off autosave for this actually it it doesn't take long to autosave anyway so uh, there's no reason to die yeah 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 I was gonna get 3500 exactly uh, but then um, I uh, messed that up, so, uh, you know, you live and you learn. Uh, oh, I don't have enough. Did I miscalculate? 7,500? Did the last one cost 7,000? Oh, my goodness. Okay. There's some, uh, <laughs> there's some Thunder Tiki's around here that we can hit. We're not gonna... I guess I could commentate while we do the last little, uh, grinding for, um, the, the rest of the shiny objects. Let's, let's do that, I guess. Uh, downtown bikini button. Can I get the shiny objects, please? Thank you. Okay. All right, ambush at the tree dome. All right, so this is going to be the last episode. We're going to be entering into. Oops, that was uh, that was not the right one. We're going to be entering into uh, the chum bucket. We definitely have enough shiny objects to do so. Uh, also, sometimes I would accidentally press B at the beginning here since I bubble bowl for that, and sometimes I would exit level on accident, unfortunately. Um, but here, this isn't too difficult. This is the most difficult part because you got to kind of jump. Also, my controller is dead and it's uh, charging. Uh, and I don't. I'm playing with a wired controller right now. Actually, it's not charging. I don't have it. The, none of the chargers work for it. So I'm going to need to get new batteries and uh, put them into the controller. Uh, but right for now, I'm using a wired controller that I have. And uh, it feels a lot different than the uh, regular controller. I like to feel the regular controller better. This one feels like loose. And okay, can I please destroy this Duplicatotron? Uh. And it just feels like, I don't know, flimsy and uh, weird and more sensitive. So I'm afraid I'm going to mess up this boss battle. Because I've done this entire Let's Play with uh, the wireless controller. And we almost have enough shiny objects to give to Mr. Krabs. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to 7,500 shiny objects. All right, let's, let's, let's do it again. Do it one more time, and then we should have enough. I knew it was going to... I knew it was 7,500, but I, I, I guess I forgot. All right. Hit you, then we hit you, wait for that, okay. Boom. Go to the second pillar, got it. Jump over to the second pillar again. Uh, we have enough, but let's finish it out. Go over to the second pillar again. And then the first pillar, hit Go over here. Perfect. Poi, it's perfect. Hit you. Also, sometimes when uh, the Duplicatortron 
spawns people, it spawns it too quick. And it'll spawn them on top of each other, and then they'll both die. Which is kind of funny. Uh, it doesn't happen a lot, but when it does happen, it's a treat. Because then I don't have to uh, get slaughtered by some more robots. Also, sometimes when you, the, the G-Love, uh, when you go to bubble bounce him, uh, there'll be a chomp bot underneath him. And he'll uh, breathe, and then when you land with the bubble bounce, uh, you'll get hit by it. Or a fodder will uh, zap you. And it's just a pain. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and give Mr. Krabs the rest of the shiny objects. 7,500 shiny objects gone. Thank you very much. I now have gotten all of the golden spatulas from Mr. Krabs. And as we can see on the board right here, look at eight. Eight, eight golden spatulas, eight socks, eight golden spatulas, 14 socks, eight golden spatulas, nine socks, eight golden spatulas, 11 socks, one golden spatula, eight golden spatula, nine socks, eight golden spatula, nine socks, or four socks, uh, eight golden spatula, 10 socks, one golden spatula, eight golden spatula, seven socks, eight golden spatula, three socks, eight golden spatula, five socks, and then there's two more golden spatulas to get here in the chum bucket. Eight golden spatulas and eight golden spatulas. That's what I'm freaking talking about. We spent a ton of shiny objects, but here we are entering into the chum bucket, and now we're going to get into the kitchen in the chum bucket. Get out of here, TV. We don't need you. We've already heard you, and let's get in. to obey Plankton! Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute! You've interfered with my plans for the last time! SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob! How do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough! Prepare to meet your doom! And here we are, folks! Okay, so here we are in the final boss fight. We have to find we have to fight Robo. Okay, and I messed that up already. That was great. Uh alright, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, thank you. So we gotta wait for him to try and chop us like that, and then we hit the button on his hand. And then he's gonna do it again. And now we got to use the cruise bubble to hit one of the buttons uh, on his face. Uh, I meant to hit him. See, this is what I'm talking about. The new controller is very sensitive, and it's messed up. I don't like it. I probably should have just put new batteries in the wireless controller, but I was in the middle of grinding for the shiny objects, and I didn't do it. Okay. Oh, and I got hit. That's fine. We're going to hit you right here. Big oh, We missed. This damn... I can't do it with this controller. It's so bad. I hate this controller. I don't know why I got it. Oh my goodness. I hate it so much. I don't even know how I got hit there. This is the worst I've ever done in this boss fight. Because I don't use this controller. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Got him. Finally. Holy crap. We're going to hit you right here because we're cheaters. Oh, never mind. And I got hit again. I can't do anything with I hate this f controller. It's just so it feels so small too, so it's like my fingers in the back are touching each other. Terrible. Let's hit that button and it's, it's on wrong cuz uh it's a glitch. Not game breaking though cuz the hitbox is still in the right spot. It's just that the the look of it isn't in the right spot. All right, we're going to hit the one on the other side as well. Also the cable's on my leg and it's uncomfortable. All right. Huh, 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 huh. And oh, we can we can go hit the 
button on his hand, I guess. Looks like SpongeBob may have a Boom, thank you. Hello, big boy. You gonna come at me? Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. There we go, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. How many? Oh, we only have three. The problem. We should probably go get more. They're on the bottom there, though. And when you get on the bottom, uh, Roboplankton will uh, attack you while you're on the ground uh, trying to get uh, underwear. So I'll wait until we get down to like two, I guess. And then we'll go get them. Too easy. Too easy, my man. You're going to have to pick it up. How did that hit me? How did I take I was in the air away from the karate chop. I don't know how I took damage from that. I guess because I was... I touched the... um. I touched uh, the platform, I guess. The platform while it was spinning. I guess it hurt me. Yeah, he restarts this, by the way, when you mess up. So. You gotta... Okay, and then he does that sometimes. Doesn't make any sense. Alright, I guess we'll do this instead of trying to be fancy and jump back, back to the previous one. Alright, let's hit the one on the top left side of his head. It's the top left for him. Top right for us. Alright, we need it. We have two more buttons on his head that we need to hit. One in the upper right corner and one in the bottom right corner. Bottom left and top left for him. But, uh... For us, it different, okay? And now we got Robo Plankton trying to destroy us, but he will be unsuccessful because we are great. Got him. Thank you very much. And we just need to hit him once more, and then we will be done with this part of the boss fight. There is a second part, which is awful and bad and uh, not fun at all. Yarata. Thank you. Boom. No more karatas. Thank you. Oh, right. Okay. It, oh, my goodness. I never had that happen to me before. Sometimes it can shoot you up in the air. And if you go far enough in the air, it uh, it start, it start ends the boss fight. And it does this scene right here. That's what speedrunners do. Um, I've actually tried to do it before. And I've never been able to do it. And I just did an accident there. That would have been awesome if I freaking would have ended it on my... If I would have glitched it out on my real attempt. Oh no. SpongeBob, he just flew into your head. Well then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean into my robot version's head. Which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, robot plankton. This is just getting too weird for me. Alright, so the last area of the let's play. Let's Will do it. Oh, we got that loading screen again. Alright. All right, so here's the Duplicatotron. Hit him with a bubble ball because we can. Hit him off the... Oh, okay, he spawned a uh, hammer. He comes right here. Oh, we couldn't get him before he started attacking us. Sometimes you can do that. I I do it sometimes, but... Uh, Robo Plankton didn't feel like it. Okay, we hit Robot Plankton now. And then these pop up from uh, the ether. And then we can hit these glass tubes that are scattered around here. And trampoline back. Okay, Chuck right here is going to throw something. We're going to avoid it. Because we're good. And then we're going to destroy... Okay, I don't know what happened there. Alright, and I messed up. Okay, that was... uh, And I'm going to land on that, yep. So that was doomed from the start. <laughs> that was absolutely doomed from the start. Because uh, it was a G-Love, which when you're in midair, the, the water rockets can still hurt you. So, it's just it's awful. Alright, we're going to hit you. Oh, how you don't they're not supposed to he's not supposed to move like that. I don't know why he moved. Alright, 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 alright. Let's just hit you. Come here, come here. Thank you very much. Alright. Jump across and let's hit this glass again. Feel like I've done it before. Okay, shoot your water missile. Alright, moved out of the way. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him. We have to hit Chuck first. Did he spawn him yet? Did he spawn the little thing? No, he didn't. All right, all right, hit him. Oh, there it is, there it is now. Got here, G-Love. There's Plankton. Oh, okay, well, we don't have enough time. All right, I was uh, was in trying to jump. I pressed the A button. Again, this controller is not great. All right, we're gonna hit him this time, though. Oh, we got him. I didn't think, I thought I was gonna go right past him. I thought I missed him, I guess not. Okay. So now we are almost to the second tube. Also, I don't know what's happening on screen up there. You can see it's kind of blue uh, little pouches of stuff. All right, and boom, down here we have Monsoon. We actually don't encounter every single robot uh, that we have seen so far. Uh, we don't see Slick. We don't see Tubelet. Uh, we see. I don't think we see any from uh, anywhere but the first area of Bikini Bottom. I don't because I don't think we see uh, Arf. Yeah, we don't see Arf. Um, all we see is the the ones that we saw from the the beginning area of Bikini Bottom, not from the, like the Mermelair. We haven't seen any from Mermelair, Rock Bottom. You know. Um, we have there's no, uh, bomb bot. I don't think, uh, chomp bot spawns in at some, any point. Uh, there's monsoon and, uh, Chuck again. Monsoon is just a pain. He's just, I hate him. No, oh my goodness, he almost hit me off. Okay, when you get hit off by, there's no checkpoint, so you just have to restart over again. As you guys saw earlier when I fell off. But I fell off at the beginning area, so I, it wasn't terrible. But if you fall off at the end, then you just have to restart it again, and it's it's bad. I don't like it. The challenge. All right, let's do that. I actually blew that up on my own in air, and it hit him. I guess the splash damage from it. He's supposed to move to his right, and he didn't there, so I don't know. Hit that one with a bubble ball, and he has hit the fuse. He's gonna be right here. Got him. All right, and here we go. He's supposed to start shooting at you, and you got to kind of uh, jump around on the little platform. But if you're good like me, and you know where he spawns, you can just hit him straight away before he hits you. And if he does hit you, I don't think he'll hit you completely off. Got him. All right. Do it. We're, I, I was thinking, of like, should we do it for the last platform just to show it off? No. Okay, I'm beating this game. I'm not falling off and doing it all over again. Because uh, that would just be uh, unfortunate if I had to do it again. Got him. Thank you. And let's play over. I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over the key bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh -oh. And since we've hundred percent of the game, Sigur cutscene. And this is the last little area where we see a bunch of credits developed by 
Heavy Iron Studios. Uh, proje project director, Shakiba, whatever. Programmers, Mark Pope. Uh, Justin Wilder, lead game designer, Joel Goodshell. Uh, lead artist, Scott Shue. Um, and yeah, that is the end of the Let's Play. We have 100%ed this game. But first, we're gonna... There's a couple more things that we can do. Uh, so we press B to exit. I tried to press start to taxi out, but, uh, um, I just have to press B. And, uh, these platforms spawn in if you want to go back to the Spongeball Arena, which is pretty nice. So we need to still read all the names in the description of the robots in the police station. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And then after we'll open up the concept art area. So let's go inside the police station for the first time in this Let's Play. Uh, nothing too special. There's, uh, there's some shiny objects actually around here. Uh, a grand total of four so far. Uh, five, six, seven. Uh, so you can, you can get seven shiny objects if you go in here. So if you're in desperate need of seven shiny objects, come in here. I'll read the sign. This is the robot viewer. Step on the metal square in front of the viewer to, to activate it. You can use the viewer to read the case files of captured robots. So we're going to do that right now. And uh, let's get it started with the first one. Fodder. Nifty electrical touch attack, not tall enough to ride most roller coasters, but more vicious than a pack of rabid clams. G Love has the most vicious smack attack, hands down. Expert foot masseur, lemon squeezer, and does delightful hand puppet shows. Chuck, annoying missile attack, likes to throw tantrums and other various military grade ordnance, not terribly friendly. And then Bomb Bot. Bot follows you, go boom. This is just the bot to get for the friend you like least. Arf, this here's one mean varmint. Packs up 45 caliber cat crusher. Most powerful doghouse made. Hammer. Impressive meat byproduct attack. Smarter than it looks. Goes well with broccoli in a nice shanty. Monsoon, shocking electrical attack, rather sensitive, reads poetry, likes plants, and enjoys zapping wandering denizens. Tublet, comes in threes or in six packs with coupon, inexplicable jello attack, stays crunchy even in milk. Bzztbot, lemon scented gamma ray attack, somewhat unpredictable, borrowing money without returning it, blast things at random. Arf dog, Pesky little critter bites the hand that feeds it. Impressive array of tricks. Fetches sponges, chases squirrels, and spontaneously combusts. Tartar. Uncanny flying tartar sauce attack. Smells somewhat better than stale fish. Sleepy time. Mostly harmless, unless woken. Somewhat moody. Likes to express himself by blasting everything in sight or finger painting. Slick. Disgusting oil blob attack. Doesn't wear underwear or bathe very regularly. Just the kind of bot your mother warned you about, kids. Chomp bot. Somewhat unstable critter. Beware his stinky doggy breath. Likes to chew toys, random citizens, and mimes. Plankton. Planktus is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people, singing, hacking computers. Uh, never mind that last bit. Plankton's the best. Alright, so we have read every single robot now, so... Next on the agenda is the concept uh, little movie theater. Uh, as you can see in a minute, once I'm going to get on the SpongeBob so we can get there faster. There we go. No need for shiny objects, so we're not going to hit, you know, the, um, uh, the thunder tiki's or anything like that. So let's try and get in there now without it. May I help you? So we need 40,000 shiny objects. So are we going to grind again? No, we're going to do this. Ready for it? Uh, I think it's these two. Oh, no, it's these two, right? And then... Alright, I got it. So, it's, um... You hold down L2 and R2 and then X, Y, Y, X, X, Y, Y, X, X, Y, right? Let me try it. Y, X, X, Y... Oh, no, damn it. I... Y, X, X, Y, Y, Y... Uh, X, Y, Y, X, X, Y, Y, X, X, Y. Okay. So, I'm gonna keep doing that until I have enough shiny objects. Be right back. Oh. oh man, I ended up with an extra four shiny objects, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and pay my man 40,000 shiny object. That took a while. My wrist freaking hurts. Let's go ahead and enter into the museum. And let's go ahead and look at some 
concept art that I'm not going to commentate over. I'm just going to skim through it, uh, maybe two or three seconds on each slide. So I'll go ahead and see, talk to you guys at the end of it. All right, so that is going to be the end of the Let's Play of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Hope you guys did enjoy this Let's Play. And comment below what games you want me to uh, do in the future, uh, whether they are Xbox games or PS2 games. Preferably, though, if they are backwards compatible for the Xbox 360. And make sure you look up and uh, see if they're actually playable. Uh, like uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets uh, can be played on the 360. Uh, but it's very like, uh, it has a lot of frame rate issues and it's very terrible. And I just got shocked by Jellyfish for the first time in this entire Let's Play. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to comment, like, favorite, subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later. Peace out and take care.